Hi, welcome to capexforextrading.com. In this video, we're going to discuss the very basics of what the forex market actually is. So in simple terms, forex stands for foreign exchange, and it is simply a place where traders from around the world go in order to buy or sell currencies from various countries. Now, whilst this idea of buying or selling currencies might sound strange at first, the actual execution itself is very simple. The reason for this is because all it involves is buying or selling of currency A against currency B. Now we're going to make many more videos about this subject the further we progress throughout our Forex trading course to ensure that you understand this fully, so don't worry. Now in terms of size, the Forex market is by far the biggest trading environment in the world, with over 5.3 trillion US dollars being traded per day. The reason for its size is because it involves big players like international banks, hedge funds and central banks who have very, very high budgets for trading in the forex market. Now traders like you and I are very small players in this market so we do not have the ability to move the market in any direction. Now there are many currencies that are available to trade with in the forex market but there is also a, a, a list of seven major currencies that you should bear in mind when you trade. They are the US dollar, the euro, the Great British Pound, the Japanese yen, the Swiss franc, the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar. The reason why these are called major currencies is because they are the ones that provide the most volume in the market on a daily basis. Now bearing this in mind there is also a list of the top five most traded currency pairs. They are the Euro USD, the Pound USD, the USD CAD, the USD Swiss Franc and the Aussie Dollar against USD. So there are also many other currency pairs that you, that you are available or you can trade with but these are the top five most traded currency pairs in terms of volume so when you first begin to trade these really should be the ones that you should place on your charts because they're the ones that are going to provide most volatility and the most realistic market conditions so in terms of the very basics that is literally what the forex market is all about so we will see you for the next video thanks